So my name is Mike Dunn. I'm the director for laser fusion energy at the Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory, working on the National Ignition Facility. So I wanted to give you an update as to where we are with progress on the ignition facility and the, the possibilities, the probabilities we think of translating the results from the NIF facility to a working power station. As you may know, the, the NIF facility was completed about two years ago now in April of 2009 and steadily has been wrapped up in capability to now get to its design point of around 1.8 megajoules, uh, four or 500 terawatts worth of power. And so the, the application of the facility is to produce fusion energy here on Earth to replicate in miniature what's happening at the centre of the Sun to get to you know, many, many millions of degrees temperature and very, very high pressures to fuse atoms of hydrogen together, in our particular case deuterium and tritium, to get helium and a neutron with a net release of energy. So the progress to date has been on a number of fronts. There clearly is the need to commission the facility up to its uh, design point. And, and here maybe the, the progress that's been most exciting from an um, optics point of view um, is the ability to produce very high surface quality, large scale silico optics, where the, the surface quality is such that the damage initiation even at many joules per square centimetre of fluence is such that the optics survive over the long term. This has allowed us to push NIF up into its full operating uh, regime and have confidence in our ability to get to ignition on the NIF. So with that facility we now focus the laser down into a you know, centimetre scale can, we call it a hull ram, it's a little x-ray oven. That x-ray oven heats up to a few million degrees um, and is used to compress a small millimetre scale uh, pellet of fuel, spherical pellet of fuel, this deuterium and tritium, to the point of ignition, the point of net energy gain. The progress over the past uh, couple of years has been uh, integrating the whole system, getting the diagnostics, the laser facility, the manufacture of these fuel targets to a point where we can reproducibly tune that system um, to go from low levels of energy output now to record breaking levels of energy output, uh, we're still a factors of a few away from the point of break even, and that's the challenge of the next few months. The, uh, the implosion itself proceeds along uh, about four different uh, axes which need to be tuned together. There's the um, development of the laser itself, of course, getting it to its design point, which we think is now in hand. There's the heating up of the hull arm to the 300 EV temperatures that are required, 4 million degrees or so. That was achieved about 18 months or so ago now. There's then creating a sufficiently spherical uh, x-ray environment so that the pellet can be compressed. Um, there's been a lot of um, experiments looking at exactly how to control that, control that symmetry. Not all the way there yet. There's still a number of uncertainties in terms of exactly how the laser focuses and interacts with the plasma. Uh, that control the detailed shape and symmetry of the implosion. Uh, so that's outstanding work in detail. And then finally, uh, as the implosion proceeds at about a million miles an hour, can you create that tiny spark of fusion burn at the very centre of the system without all of the system mixing together? And that, that is perhaps the principal remaining obstacle to getting to the point of a fusion ignition. The next few months' worth of work will be focused predominantly on that fuel mixing term. But overall, our, our anticipation is that the, the prospects of getting to energy break-even uh, look like around about six to 18 months away. You know, we shall see in detail exactly how the next few months of experiments work out. It's impossible to predict in detail exactly what will happen and what the surprises uh, will or won't be, but it feels around that kind of time scale. You know, we, we hope to do it by the end of this year. It may be a little bit faster, it may be a little bit uh, later, we shall see. But around about, you know, that kind of time scale, which is the culmination of 50 or maybe 52 years at the end worth of work and, and about five generations worth of laser facility. So a great time to be around.